Hey guys, what's up and welcome to the second series video of one project per week series. Okay, in this series, in this particular video, we're going to be creating an autocomplete, autocomplete project using React. So this is going to be pretty simple. I'm going to be showing you two ways you could do it. One is you doing it manually and another one is using a package called React Select. So I hope this project will be a lot helpful implementing your projects and also have this implement this as you know uh, for example if you're taking data from an api you could use this and uh, filter out data according to the inputs all this kind of stuff so let's go ahead and get started first of all what have i done let me clear the terminal i have created a new react app so npx create react app and i've said auto complete and that's what i've done and first of all I've deleted the source folder, so I don't have the source folder. Let me go ahead and create a new source folder. And the main things that we need is index.js and app.js, okay? First of all, in, inside of the index, let me make the font size, okay, it's 18. Hope you guys can see the fonts and all this kind of stuff. If, if the you know font size is a lot smaller, if you guys can't understand anything, if there's anything, let me know in the comments and we could, uh, I will change it accordingly. So in the index.js, we need to import React from React. And we want to import uh, sorry, React DOM from React DOM. And then React DOM dot render. First of all, you already know it what we did in our previous video. And also, if you did not watch the previous video, I will leave a link to it in the description down below. And we built a to-do app, a simple to-do app, and we have all the CRUD functionality in a to-do app. If you do want to learn the basics of React, make sure to check out that video and it would be a lot helpful for you, okay? So, instead of the app.js, let me just put an h1 saying it's an app. And let me go to the index.js and let me import, import app from dot slash app and let me go ahead and run the server okay npm start and i think i should write it in a different port let me maximize this okay it says app so when we have an autocomplete what is it that we want to achieve in our autocomplete so we need to have an array of data and we should be able to get input from user and then filter out the array array based on the input of the user these are the three main things that we want to do basically all three things are just you know one particular it's like one particular functionality you just have to filter the array based on the input of the user but we have but as is is mostly like for beginners it will be much more better if you break down the problem into simpler parts so that they, so that you can debug the code all those kind of stuff pretty easily so first of all let's get started with having an array of data let's create let's ho use hooks and let me say it again if you are not familiar with hooks i think i do have a video about hooks which i leave in the description down below if i have it and also I did make a Twitter post about it, but if, you, if you're not interested, I'll definitely leave a link to a video that I did. It will, you know, get you started with the basics of hooks and hooks are basically a way of storing data. So as we do, if, if it's hard for you, you could watch the video, but you, I guess a lot of people could get it with, you know, just you just implementing it, writing it. So let's have const datas and set data and that is going to be equals to use state i'm going to auto import it as you guys can see and it's going to be an array of objects okay so uh, let me just say name one and let me just have it like one two and three just for now let me put a comma here hmm. name is going to be two name is going to be three okay so let let's map out or map out the 
values that I write here into a h1 and put a uh, render out the name. Let me say datas and here we're gonna map the data. We're gonna get the single data and what we're gonna be doing is what is it? I guess there's a problem. Yes, now we wanna return it. Instead of if you put this brackets you might have to put the return statement but if you put this brackets if you don't put the curly brackets which is this you don't need to return it so what you have to do is sorry guys for the noise so you could render data dot name let's go ahead and check so it says one two three now what do we want to do after this so let's check this what do we do? What do we want to do after this? We want to get the input of the user and then filter out the the what is it? Filter out the array of data that we are rendering based on the user's um, what is it? User's input. So if the user is typing one, we only want to filter out the array with the name of one. So that's what we're going to be doing right now. Let's create a new state for the input value and let's say search text set search text it's going to be use state and it's going to be a string and let's have the value of this to be search text and on change it's gonna get the event and then want to set the search text to be equals to e dot target dot value which is going to be the text that the person is typing okay so uh, right after this that's this is just a simple snippet of code guys you go you guys could write in order to filter out the data that you only need okay i don't i don't know why that did it so what you should do is dot filter you want to filter the data that you're rendering based on the person's input so the filter will rent will return i guess two to three things which is the individual data itself and the index and then the key of it so in this case we only need the name which is the data inside of it let's say name and using the name we want to run an arrow function we want to do something with it so let's say name dot index of let me uh, let me do this and after this you i will explain what, what is being actually done so search dot lowercase once make it to lowercase we want to check if that is greater than minus one so what is basically happening is that we are filtering out the name and let me do this so if the name okay once we are filtering out the name each and every name if the name dot index of so if the name index one is equals to one and search text dot to lowercase in this case we don't have any text so let me just say text one um, awesome cool so there are three different ways um, yeah three different ways of this data so if name one is equals to a and search text which is being changed into lowercase in order to match everything in order to be equal and then that index is being equals to let's say search text one is also equals to a meaning it should be awesome it should only render this so basically the greater than minus one you don't need to panic about this which i did so this basically says whether there is something that is matching. So we want to filter out the data that is actually matching. So if there is something that matches, then that will be passed on as data. So that's what we're going to be rendering. So if this is true, if the name dot index of is equals to search text and lowercase, and that is greater than minus one, meaning there's something inside of it, then it means it will be true. So let's go ahead and check it out. Uh, let's see whether it works. Now it should be changing. Mm. Right, save it. So 
so as you guys can see it's working if i type cool it's working awesome it's also working let me type something else good and that's not working if i type good there's nothing called good and that's pretty much working guys now this is pretty easy but there's also something else that you could use in order to make it something simpler if you want it to and let's go ahead and do that right now so we don't need this we're going to be using a npm package so let me open that up for you guys right here okay mm, this is that package it's called react select as you guys can see i'm on the github repository which i left in the description down below and it's used by a lot of people actually over 100000 which is a lot and it's very simple to use it and using react hooks you could use it much more easily so select now you might be wondering we are implementing an auto complete function but not a select function but what this basically does it also has a select but it also has auto complete built in so we want to have options array which we already do have in name of datas right here and we can have a value and then a label value means which we want it to have and label is what we you know have it on you know as a placeholder instead of the value but if they click on the label it actually passes on that particular value and then we pass in an options uh, options what is it options parameter uh, options or uh, options and we put that equals to the options array and on change we want to set select selected option so this is a hook and we just call that what this basically does is it selects the selected option to the one that it selected to so with the use of hooks you could make it much more easy but with you know normal class components you need to have a separate function for it so that's why it's really informative and really good to learn hooks so let's go ahead and get started um, what you should do is open up a new terminal in pmi and react select let me go ahead and check if i already have it yeah i do already have it yeah you just say npm i react select and you're going to get it and the versions don't matter actually so we need a select component so it actually auto imported it but we only want it from react select not slash so slash select make sure that is done and right here you want to say the options as the documentation said options on change and a default value we don't actually want a default value because when it's an auto complete you you want the person to search for something so we want the user to see whether see you know you see that see that it's an input that they can search from rather than it being like a select a static select okay so the options are going to be data but there is a problem here as you guys can see there is a value and a label these are two things that we need in our array instead of being name so let's put this as the label and let's let's have a value which is going to be text one as well and let me copy this and paste it and this is going to be value and this is going to be label let me copy this paste it and this is going to be label this is going to be a value and now we won't get that error also we should have a, a hook to manage the selected option the, uh, the one that the person has selected so let's say selected option and set selected option will be equals to use state and it will be initially null there will be nothing selected but we want to give an on change and let's just say set selected option that is basically just going to run this and put the particular selected uh, uh, auto complete which is the value to this particular state so let's go ahead and check it once i click on this we get all of this but we could also awesome so let me say awesome and that's working also let me say cool that's working and also let me show you guys so i'm using my keyboard and you could actually uh, you know what is it navigate through your keyboard click it and that's going to apply to the select so if you are creating a large scale application or even a project that deals with a back end or you're just 
completely finding it hard to create or implement the autocomplete or the select select uh, select bar because that's quite hard for a lot of people people use bootstrap and all this kind of stuff you could easily use this package it's got uh, autocomplete uh, implemented as well so those are the functionalities uh, guys those are the two ways and there are also more ways to implement let's go ahead and check this first of all all three are done and also i'll leave a github repository if you want to check it out in the description down below and that is pretty much it guys it's pretty easy these are two ways you could use this npm package you could also use the normal way the manual way but i would recommend you use it use this filter method because that's you know more hands-on and you'll get the basic understanding of how react works and all those kind of stuff but if you're developing a high scale or large scale project or you don't want to deal with more of front end you can use a package called react select which i'll also leave to in the description down below and that's pretty much it guys that's how easy it is and yeah that's pretty much it hope you guys enjoyed this video as i said there will be a new video coming out every week with a new project so this is the second project of the of i guess uh, the next month of february so i'm going to be uploading this from february as you guys can see sun sunday the 31st so it's going to be from tomorrow we're going to be starting from february 1st it's going to be the first video and then from the second week there will be this video so this will be this video will be off on february 2nd or it might be even earlier so let me know what schedule you guys might want if there's anything you want me to change or if there's any video you guys want me to make and would find it helpful and that's related to programming or even not and also my new macbook video will be releasing and yeah guys i mean i've been delaying that for a long time but that's totally fine i might be releasing it quite soon and that's pretty much it guys if you did like this video if you did find this video helpful make sure to share this video with your friends on discord or whatever also subscribe to this channel also leave a like if you enjoyed this video also if you want you could follow me on twitter where i you know post you know text based tips and tricks uh, tips and tricks and also i keep people updated on my update about my channel and whatever i'm doing whether i'm hosting a new series all those kind of stuff also yeah guys uh, i'm me and my brother are working on a new side hustle a new a new business so we are not going to be talking about it right now i'll be releasing a specific video for that and we need your support guys so make sure you subscribe to the channel turn on notifications so that you guys are updated about that and it's going to be really helpful for you guys and uh, yeah guys that's pretty much it and i'll see you guys in the next video